Hello there, I'm Stephen Bunting and I'm a physiotherapist based in the northwest of England. This video is about exercises for conditions involving the ulnar nerve, most commonly cubital tunnel syndrome and Guyon's canal syndrome. I've made another video which explores these conditions in more detail. You can check that out here and I'd suggest watching that first so you can learn about some of the other treatments that might be worth trying alongside these exercises. Okay, so before we get started, the first thing to say is that cubital tunnel syndrome is a problem where the ulnar nerve becomes irritated right here in the funny bone region of the elbow. And Guyon's canal syndrome is where the nerve becomes irritated right here in the wrist. The second thing to say is that nerves can often be quite sensitive to certain movements, so these exercises should be done gently and with caution. If your symptoms get a lot worse whilst doing them, or fail to settle down quickly after you've stopped, then get further advice from a physio or other healthcare professional. The ulnar nerve travels from the lower part of the neck, then deep through the shoulder, under the armpit, along the inside of the upper arm, and then through the cubital tunnel on the inner elbow, along the inner forearm, and then finally through Guyon's canal in the wrist before entering the palm side of the hand and into the little and ring fingers. The exercises that help encourage nerve movement are sometimes called nerve gliding or nerve flossing exercises and work on the assumption that regular movement of the nerve through areas of restriction or compression can help stimulate nerve healing and recovery. The exercises can also be useful after ulnar nerve release surgery in order to help avoid scar tissue formation around the nerve. So these exercises are designed to produce ulnar nerve movement. For the first one, Start with your arm out to the side and then slowly take your hand towards your face with fingers pointing downwards. Then slowly alternate these two positions to slide the ulnar nerve through the cubital tunnel. Take your hands towards your face only as far as you can do comfortably. Stop if you get any pain or pins and needles and back off a little until they stop. As the days and weeks go by you can try progressing the exercise by slowly adding a bit of neck side bending and then upper back side bending to give a bit more nerve movement. A variation of this exercise is to imagine passing a ball from hand to hand behind your head which is a good exercise if you have symptoms in both arms. You could also stretch both arms out at the same time and then bring both hands in together. Then alternate between the two exercises. All the nerve movements are all about hand to head activities. So going through the motions of combing or washing your hair and face can be helpful. Imagine drawing a lasso over your head. This involves a bit more wrist movement and can be helpful with Guyon's canal syndrome. This next exercise is called the plate balancing exercise. Use a plastic plate and imagine it is full of food. Now try to take the plate as high as you can to as low as you can without spilling the contents. Follow the plate with your eyes and try and get as close to your face as you can as it passes by. I call the last exercise the English tea exercise. Imagine sipping a cup of tea 
with your little finger pointing out to the side. It's not unusual to feel a bit of tingling in your little finger with this one, so start gently and stop at the point of any tingling. If you're okay, then try going a bit further. Take the cup closer to your face and then imagine spilling the tea down your front. To progress, you could add a bit of neck side bending. With all these exercises, try to do them little but often, perhaps a few minutes at a time, but then regularly throughout the day. It's not unusual to feel some tingling sensations whilst doing them, but they should always settle down quickly after you stop. Do respect symptoms though, and never push into pain or those tingling sensations. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you found the video helpful. Take care and bye for now. Thank you.